Hey everyone! Ok, so in this quick video I'd like to show you how you can uh, create a set of CSS utility classes based on Flexbox to uh, align things. Ok, so let's start. So we have a parent and a child element and we can start by adding some basic style to both elements. So for example we can set a um, grey background and uh, a height of uh, 100 view, uh, viewport height to the parent so that it's going to fill the whole space and then we can set a black background with white color to the child and maybe some padding as well okay perfect so so we want to align uh, this element the child element so in the in back in the old days where we, when we couldn't rely on the flexbox, we had to do stuff like uh, set maybe a text align center to the parent, and then uh, we should set something like okay line height equal to the height of the parent on the child element. But obviously, this would uh, would break if we had, for example, a paragraph. In which case the distance between uh, each each line uh, will be equal to the line height, so we'd have a like scroll bar. And uh, so, for example, we had to set a fix a width, even a fluid width, on the child element. Then remove the line height and uh, the text align, and then use a trick like setting the position relative on the parent, the position absolute on the child with a top and left equal to 50% and then apply a transform of translate minus 50% and minus 50% so and it works it, even though it's not ideal but it works but likely now we have Flexbox, so it's way easier to, to align things. So let me show you how you can do that using Flexbox. So we can get rid of the position absolute left, right and transformation on the child and we can remove the position relative from the parent. Okay, so we can just apply two properties to the parent, which are ju justify uh, content center and align items center and uh, we are done we get okay obviously i just forgot to apply a display flex on the parent and that's it so the the child is in the exact center of the parent with just two properties uh, so the justify content uh, is a way to align uh, the content the flex content on the main axis which in this case is the x-axis the align items is used to align the content on the on the cross axis. Uh, specifically, it, it's used to align the content of each row on the cross axis. In this case, we have only one row. Uh, actually, we just have one flex item, and we are aligning it uh, vertically. Let's say. Uh, okay, so uh, to align things using Flexbox, we can either target the parent or we can target the child. So getting back to the original goal of the, of the video, which was creating a set of uh, CSS utility classes, we're going to do such thing uh, uh, targeting the child element. So let me show you how. So there is one cool thing about Flexbox, which is that if you set the margin auto to a flex item, uh, Flexbox do some magic stuff and it basically auto calculate the, the margins. So if you set the margin auto, it's going to uh, assume that you want equal margins around the element. So that's very cool. So let's start creating these utility classes. So first of all, uh, maybe you're not a fan of using utility classes and that's fine. You don't have to use them necessarily. Uh, if you prefer, you can just uh, grab the code and uh, uh, use it targeting specific elements. It's totally fine. Okay, so in this case, I'm sticking with the utility classes. So display flex on the dot flex uh, class. 
then we can create a class which is align center with margin auto. So now if I remove this and uh, if I apply the classes, I'm obviously getting same result as before. Here we go. So now why it's useful uh, uh, to create utility classes? Because I can create a bunch of classes, like for example, align left. In this case, I just need to set the margin right of auto and uh, align self center. And if I apply this class, a line left. Now the element is a line, yes, on the on the left. Uh, okay, perfect. So first of all, uh, don't forget, uh, even though it's not really uh, necessary in modern browsers, but let's add an align self center here as well, because it's going to fix an issue on Internet Explorer. Uh, and um, so on the align left, we use margin right because Flexbox and to be bluntly honest, I'm not sure why, but if you set a margin right to margin left to auto, it's going to push the element on the opposite side. So when you use the line self, we are still, once again, we are targeting the cross axis, which in this case is the uh, Y axis. Okay, so we can create other classes as well. Align right. Just going to copy this and replace the margin right with the margin left. And now we can do something else and be uh, more specific. We can create a line X center, for example. So um, now we are trying to do something different. Let's say we want this, uh, this element to be in the center on the horizontally, but at, at the bottom, if we consider the, the Y axis. So we can create an align X center class, which is going to be just margin right auto and margin left auto. And then we can create an align Y bottom class with a align self flex end. So now if you apply these two new classes, we have a line X center and a line Y bottom. So here we go. Um, we can continue and create other classes as well. We can create a line X left. So with the margin right of auto, we can create in a line line X right with a margin left of auto. And then we can do the same for the Y axis. So align Y uh, top, for example. Align self is going to be flex start. And then obviously align Y center with an align self of center. Okay, so we have all the classes we need. And the cool thing here is that we are not limited to uh, having just one child. We can actually have another child as well. Here we go. And uh, we can uh, apply classes to this one as well. So first of all, the child class. And then, for example, we can, uh, let's say we want to align uh, both elements, one on the right, one on the left, uh, in the center of the parent. And we're just going to apply a line uh, X left here with a line Y uh, center. And we are going to do the same for the, for the other child. It's going to be a line X right, a line Y center. So you can basically use these classes uh, to um, align things, okay? And uh, yeah, and that's it. Or if you prefer, uh, like we said before, you can just uh, use this code and target specific elements or specific classes without, you know, using uh, um, utility classes. 
So that, that's all for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and uh, thanks for watching.